January 1st, 2024. Strawberries ever bearing. Seeds have been started along with a flowering grass. Forgot the actual name of it. I've got, um, this is a plum tree. It's about two, three months old. And these are tangerine trees, Moroccan tangerine trees. They're about four months old, for me five. Started midsummer. And my orange tree, which is now about 18 months old and a little over six feet. I might have to clip the thing. I've sold 11 of them so far, lemons and orange trees. And I got this one at my office, one this at home, and one at the office. Outside here today, about minus three, I guess, right now. A little bit of flakes for January 1, 2024. The chickens are in here, hen scratching. <laughs> They're destroying the place in here, but I want them to do this. Hello, guys. Look at the digging holes. Nothing going on here yet. Hey guys. Are you pineapple? I've uh, restructured things in here. I put the plastic up to give it a little extra cushion. And it made a difference, especially this plastic. You can't even see this plastic. It's so nicely done. And it, usually in the morning after minus 12, 14 like last night, these would all be bent over. And you can feel a little cool air there, but not much. But usually that would come down cold air off of that. I'm going to fix, finish that in that corner. And uh, we have some rosemary and parsley hanging in there. This is Selenova. Amazing that I've got it grown here still hanging in there because of cold weather that we've had but and I planted them some seeds to see whether did this yesterday see whether they can make it in the kale over here we have uh, kale and broadleaf Russian and some uh, Swiss chard pretty all coming to an end with what I have there these two containers are radishes I'm just experimenting with something and I had some blueberry plants. I don't know whether they'll take hold or not. See, it's plus four in here right now. I think the high was nine, maybe. Nine and a half. And the low was 1.2, so we did pretty well. I've kept this one open. And the chickens have gone in and done some digging around. And the other two, I'll be using that next year. That one in there. And this one here as well. They're both covered. They're ready. They've come down a lot throughout the year. I had a little bit, but uh, I'll finish off. So, I got four rows in here. And you can see I got some lumber. I just brought in yesterday. I made a uh, um, raised garden frame here. Eight footer. Two foot wide. And what I did is spaced out and used siding in between. And I was pushing everything else, and I think that'll work pretty good. When I get it outside, I'll give it a little paint job. These uh, rows that I have are all greens that the chickens haven't been able to get at. You can barely see the green in there, but there's quite a lot. Same with over here. I have another row, about 8, 10 feet. And they pound on it, and they dig at it. You can see some, some of the carrots and greens that I have in here. So I'm trying to at least see how, I, how much they'll last for the winter time but these guys have dug this stuff up and done a great job in turning things over i found they don't like the herbs oregano thyme and what else i think there was oregano thyme there was something else in there I forgot the name i have it listed someplace well that's my update for january 1st 2024 on a snowy coolish start of the year Let's hope everything goes well this year. Happy New Year.